Welcome back. We have another adventure of Flipper Zero. How to use Flipper Zero to read other things. As you can see, we have different ones. We have read, extract and a fist, save, extract actions, right? So read specific card types, right? So this video is going to be for educational purposes only. Don't use it for a malicious use purpose. Only use it on your stuff, right? I want to make that severely clear. So use it on your stuff. Don't be stupid with it because you can get in trouble if you use it in a bad way. Right, so in this video, we're going to show you. I do not have that RFID blocker, right? So, as you can see, my card's in there, right? So, we're going to do a proper test, right? If someone had this in the pocket and doesn't have an RFID chip, right? I got this from Holiday, I really liked it to be honest. So, we're going to do uh, read, we're going to wait for the blue button. Will it read it for it? Yeah, it did. Cool. Visa debit, it says more actions. And then we go press on info and gives you nothing basically because it's only matters with certain types of cards. But if it did work, I don't know, let's try scanning it again properly. We're going to try something a little bit different, right? So, what we're going to try, I'm going to get my card now. Obviously, I'm not going to show any. Let's face it, I'm not that stupid, right? I'm going to do press read and see if it shows anything different if the card was in pure contact with this one. I'm not going to show you what the top bit says at the top of it because it's quite scary. So obviously I got my card out, out of here and then I did the same procedure. I placed it uh, slowly down till it pinked. And what the flipper actually showed right now, it showed my account details, my 16 digit code number, my sort code, expiry date. I don't know if you can go see, it says expiry date just there. So this is what I mean with the flipper zero. Let me get out of it. Yep. So we're out of it. So this is quite scary because just use this in a basic ROG software, but I think this comes standard anyway, the NFC software with the flipper zero. And Yes, it works a lot more better if the card's out and you can actually place it. It will take a couple tries. You want to sometimes try it three times to get more information out of it. And yes, it showed my 16 digit long number, my sort code, my expiry date and my country code off my card, which is quite scary. A little toy like, right? This is what I mean. Whenever you're walking about or out doing something, get yourself a wallet, which is RFID approved. So when people have this in their pockets, they can just brush past you, get your details, you're done. So make sure you have an RFID protection, otherwise you could lose quite a bit of money. So hopefully this video is educational and you learned some stuff, how to use the Flipper Zero to read cards and how to stay safe from it. I don't know if it works on car keys. I think it does because obviously I can capture code rolling code, but I know with newer cars, you can't really, but my friend has an old car. So I might see if he let me his passport. I'm pretty sure he let me his car keys to practice, right? Or I can practice on my newer car and see what happens. If you want to see that video, comment down below that you want to see that video, like this video, share it, subscribe, and we'll make this video as soon as we can. So hopefully this video showed you how to use basic stuff to gather information. I'll see you guys in the next one. Exploits out.